What's up, everybody? It's Easy. Easy Street Gaming. Got a big event coming at you right now. It's the War Pattern event. Right now, we have the War Pattern store. The War Pattern store is where you can actually buy elite war patterns. It's kind of a unique opportunity. There is a lot of war patterns that it's, it's you, you can't just pick and choose the war patterns you get. You have to kind of get what you win. And that's a good chance for you to, to, to pick a single foot, head, hand, whatever. At the same time, you have Soul Master going on. Soul Master, you, you can win. Uh, they have prizes you can win for using the most soul. So basically what you'll do is you will advance your war patterns as much as you can during the event. It also allows you to, to buy these soul boxes and you can just get random uh, amounts of soul. If you just buy one box, you'll get 10 or 12,000 soul. But if you buy five or 10 of them, you might get a, a, like 40, 50,000 soul at one time. I think it says up to 200,000. I've never seen that, but. Uh, now there's a ton of information in this video. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see one of our contests is coming up. It's gonna be the first contest on the channel. It's basically we're just giving away money. <laughs> we're gonna give away money for uh, every on the hundredth subscriber. For every hundred subscribers, we're gonna we're going to have a certain amount. Of, it's all gonna be on drawings. We'll give away a certain amount of money for the for every hundred subscribers up until we get a thousand new subscribers for Brutal Age. And if you're already a subscriber, don't worry. We're gonna put your name in there every time we hit. The, the hundred milestone so now let's get let's get into the actual the actual event this this event a lot of people think of it as a big hassle because what we can do during this event is we can remove all of our war patterns from our existing heroes so we can remove all the war patterns from the existing heroes normally that cost 25,000 soul. A lot of people what they'll do is they'll take every single war pattern off of all of their heroes and rebuild each one. Now if you've never done that before, let me tell you, it's a, it's a major ordeal especially if you have a bunch of them. I have like 40, 40 heroes that have war patterns on it. So just imagine taking them all off and putting them back on. I've done that a, a couple times. It takes hours and hours to do that. If you've done that already, what you want to do is tweak it every time. So, and, and just a little side note, if you don't have T4 or T5 yet, I would really suggest focusing on your partners. You want your partners to be in tip top shape for the time, for, from when you get T4 and T5 troops. That way it will help you win battles. I know that we have events that go on. There's the adventure stages and there's uh, ranked matches. And there's the rally matches, so you have stuff that just use the heroes, but it, they also lead all of your war parties. And if you don't have your heroes up to speed, then you're going to lose more wars, more war attacks, because their heroes will beat yours, and, and their heroes will boost up their troops, and then you end up losing because you haven't focused on your hero, your heroes enough. So while you're waiting on T4, which is, I usually suggest holding off on a lot of these war attacks, do you have T4? I know people start attacking with T2, but you know. If you wait till you have T4s, you'll do, do a lot better. In, in the meantime, you focus on the heroes. Now, on screen, what you're seeing is I'm going through all of all of my heroes. And I'm making sure that I have exactly what I need. I'm going to go through that a little bit more in a few minutes. Uh, meanwhile, on the left side of the screen, what I've done is I've listed all of the different war patterns. I'm sure most everyone is familiar with most of them by now. Uh, if you're a new player, we're going to show all the different war patterns you can get on the left side. And including all the ones that you can't get. There's about 10 that we don't have out yet that we don't that we can't get. And there's some really interesting ones. I'll, I'll explain those a little more. I'm not going to really get into the ones that we already have. Because we already have a video out on it. You can just go back into, our, into the channel, E.D. Street Gaming, on YouTube. You can go back in the channel and you'll see all that. Uh, we have tips for the event. First, first tip is set aside at least an hour. And I say an hour, and that's if you're not going to take off every war pattern. If you don't know how to do this event, this is a huge event. This is you. This is where you can make up for all the mistakes you've made. The very first server that I was on, I thought I was doing everything right. But when I went back about four or five months later, I realized I did everything wrong. 
So as you learn, as you pick up more from talking to other players, watching videos, just getting more information, you'll, you'll realize that you made a lot of mistakes when you first started. You probably have a lot of plus hit points. You, you probably have defense uh, war patterns mixed in with attack war patterns. My, one of my suggestions to everyone is, is not to mix and match a lot of your war patterns. You have defensive troops or, or heroes that you want all defense on. And normally what I'll try to do is I'll try to stick as I'm saying that I'm just showed one that has all three <laughs> Jesus all right, you, you try to stick to one major war pattern and what, what I mean is like for example the blue boar is a great example it you, you want all defense on it so you use all bull and you use this all defense percentage it doesn't just help out his defense it helps out his attacks as well so by focus by, by trying to keep one type of a, of attribute going on your war patterns it, it increases your your partner's ability for that one attribute and so you'll have one hero that's a huge attacker one that's great on defense and instead of having them all mediocre at everything so set aside about one hour for this particular event because what I'm about to show you it takes about an hour to do I'm actually on screen that's what I'm doing right now in short I'll just start off with my best hero and go look over everything make sure I have what I want I'll remove war patterns that I don't want and then I'll go and take them from lower heroes and I'm gonna explain all that in more, more detail in a few minutes in the meantime let's talk about something a little different and that's how you get the soul because in this event you need as much soul as possible I think the, the the top prize you need like millions of soul and I know that everyone thinks you have to buy it and to get to the top prize you probably do uh, I'm, I won't I've never got the top prize because I'm not gonna go and spend a hundred dollars on on soul but you can maximize the amount of soul that you get for this event and one of the first ways you do that is to is to battle in the right areas if you don't know already, the right area is in forest. You go into forest stage and adventure, and it gives you the most uh, soul just for the actual attack. And then you can sell the actual war patterns because you're gonna get the badger war pattern. The badger war pattern is the critical rate damage war pattern. It is useful, and there are several heroes that you that you'd want to use it on. But it's more useful to sell because you get the most soul for it. So that's where you'd probably want to go to do most of your soul farming. Is on forest stage. If you can get into, uh, if you can go into forest in purgatory, that's what you want to do. So when we are figuring out what we want to use for each one of the heroes, I have a lot of questions about this. People ask all the time, and. I think a lot of people just don't know because there's, there's a lot of work you have to do throughout the game to, to maximize all of the different things you, that you want to do uh, be, between changing around the runes, between changing around your abilities and understanding the war patterns and understanding which, which heroes work well with or what, what war patterns work well with what heroes. The, it's not, I, don't, I don't just have the information, I got it, I got it from reading every one of their attacks most of the time it, it will tell you in their attacks what to use it's not going to tell you use wolf or use hippo but it will tell you it will give you hints as as far as what to use going back to what's on screen what I, what i'm showing on screen we have to kind of skip around because of the lack of time that you have in the, in the actual replays i've i've taken ursula huntress she had four badger as part of her war pattern and I wanted to test to see if Badger was going to work out better than All Wolf. So what I've done is I've taken off. No, what I've done here is I'm attacking with Badger. This is what she had. And I'm going to make a note, make a mental note, make a physical note of exactly what she's doing on the attacks. How strong she is on her attacks with this particular war pattern. And then I'm going to take that war pattern off her and change it to All Wolf. And that's going to be the second replay. And we're going to watch and see the difference between the two replays and see which one works out better. So that's what, that's what you're watching on screen. Now getting back to the soul. So we, we know that forest gives you the best soul. It gives you the actual best uh, for the war pattern. You can sell the badger war pattern. That, that gets you the, the best amount 
of soul per war pattern. Now there's there's something else though, and that's most of the time. By the time you by the time you're up to let's say you're up to stronghold twenty, unless you've been selling off all of your war patterns as you go, you probably have a lot of war patterns. I have over a hundred right now, and every single one of the war patterns I have now are all basically elite war patterns. But there's so many, and. What I'm suggesting is that you, you don't hoard all the war patterns. If you have one or two of everything, like right now in Badger, um, I, I just sold a bunch, but in Badger I had like, in, in for Helmet I had like five hit point percentage, and two or three um, critical rate percentage, and two or three critical rate damage percentage. There's no reason to hold on to that many. And all these war patterns sell for a lot of soul. So during this event, you want to go through and sell off as much soul as you can. Understanding that you're gonna get more because you're gonna keep on farming every day You're gonna keep on going through adventure stages every day if you sold it all off right now It probably wouldn't hurt you at all So sell off as much as you can Now working down through your heroes What I've done is I will start off at the very top and I'll look at the very top hero I'll read through the description. I'll make sure that I have the right war patterns on them and now also on the left side you'll see that these are all the upcoming war patterns that are coming out some of them are pretty awesome i don't know how they're all going to work i can't really explain what each one is some of them are obvious like this one the seal you get uh, a shield for three rounds some of them i'll explain and be wrong so i'm gonna let everyone just kind of read along some of them the explanations were so big i had to uh, retype them so you'll, you'll notice that there's different type but uh that's just what happened there so going down from from best to worst so you'll start off at, to, at the top and I think I got down four or five war patterns before I had to remove some I think I got down to the blue uh, nomad on my list on the blue nomad I had an attack percentage hit point percentage and then defense per percentage and I wanted to take off deep defense percentage and put another hit point percentage on because I didn't use hippo I was using the Ian war pattern I used Ian because I wanted the, the, the hit point gain that he gets every time he attacks. So that, it's not a normal war pattern. Most people will use all hippo to get his hit points way up there. So I know I wanted to uh, change some things around. So what I did is I took off the defense percentage and then I went down on the list. And because now, because he is fifth on my list from six down, it doesn't matter who it is. I'm gonna steal a war pattern from anyone underneath him. And I'm not afraid to break up a war pattern from anyone underneath them because then I'll go to the one under, Let's say if I break up the seventh one uh, the blue boar and I steal steal one from the blue boar Well, then I'm gonna go on down further on the list and just get one back for the blue boar and You'll end up shuffling all your war patterns from the bottom of your list to the top of the list so I'm taking off war patterns at the top of the list and stealing them from the bottom of the list and by doing this, I am shuffling through and leaving all of my best war patterns up top to the heroes I use the most and leaving room for improvement on the ones down bottom. Now, if you have four or five only that, that you have, this, this system probably wouldn't work best for you. You might be at the point that you want to take them all off and just rework each one of them uh, all together. And now, you might think it's a lot of work to do this, but l let me, let me uh, tell you a small story. I had the the blue berserker and I had him set up improperly I had him set up with badger and wolf just because I got so many good badger so I decided to use badger and wolf on him and I had attack percentage on on his head on his left hand I mean on his right hand on his left hand I had speed now these aren't terrible things but for him it was wrong he want you want all hit point percentage for him so I changed around. I took all the war patterns off him. I rebuilt them, got his hit points up to uh, plus twenty one thousand, uh, which gave him a huge amount of hit points. Which then changed the amount of healing he does. So we went from healing at three thousand per heal to now he does like seventy two or seventy three hundred per heal. So this you can make major changes in your lineup by doing this. This is this is uh, this event allows you to make major changes. That's why it's so important. It's important for you to take the time to do it. It's important for you to be thorough and do a little bit of homework and read up on each one of these abilities. And I know that people, some people just want to play. 
And if you're the one that just wants to play, this isn't for you. But if you're the one that, that takes things a little serious, you know, maybe too serious for a game, like me, <laughs> then this is what you want to do. You want to read through all of the, every one of the attacks that all these heroes do. Also, another, uh, something that I've done, something I suggest to everyone, if you're on a server that has a hundred million player on it, or like my first server that had 15 or 20 players that were a hundred million, go and click on every one of their go click and click on all of them and look at all of their heroes see who they've got and see what war patterns they are using on them you may be surprised at, at what you see yeah you're gonna see a lot of the more, more experienced players they'll use things like Corsac and they use things like rabbit which the less experienced players won't use because we're going to we as a me too We'll, we'll rely on attack percentage and hit point percentage and try to get our attack and hit point way up there Meanwhile, they're getting their resistance and their hit way up there and They'll attack us and we're all dizzy headed spinning around and we attack them and they're not and they end up beating us with weaker heroes Because they have better war patterns and they understand better So what go to the more experienced players and look at what they're building and Simply copy them Co copy what they're doing test it out for yourself what I what I'm doing in the video is actually what the fourth tip I have that's test be before and after an adventure so my before was for the Ursula hunter before I had the badger on her I had four badger two wolf I took off and that was the first attack I think on the first attack she was doing well first thing you'll notice is all of her attacks were all white they were all white because uh, none of them were were any of the critical rate attacks now now if you'll notice that every single one of her attacks are in the critical rate so even if she's not doing a ton more damage because I changed the war patterns around a little bit and because she doesn't have badger she doesn't do as much critical rate damage but before she would only do critical rate damage when she got a critical rate attack and before her critical rate was at like 20% or 25% now it's at like 60% so she'll do a critical rate attack more and just do more now if just watch every attack is red 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 R the red attacks are the critical rate damage attacks or the critical rate attacks which once you get a critical rate attack then you're doing critical rate damage so right there she had four different attacks two of them were a critical rate so by changing around her war patterns taking off the badger and adding wolf she now has six wolf and you know i don't have uh you know, I don't have a secret guide that I go by. I, it's all tri trial and error for me. Uh, I'm no better or smarter than anyone else out there. I just, I just try and will fail at some stuff and try again. Succeed at some stuff and try again. And one of the things that I do that I think everyone should do is I discuss this stuff with my clan. I talk to people in world chat about it. I make the war patterns and the heroes uh, an open discussion for everyone. And you'll be surprised. It... it not only does it bring together a little more camaraderie with the clan but it also helps you intermingle with the other people on the server you would be surprised at how many times I've been I'm, I'm in several servers that are really tough to play in and the, the world chat is full of I'm going to kill you I'm going to attack you I want to kill you I'm going to attack you and then you start talking about war patterns and things change so use th this as an opportunity to talk to everyone in the server and your clan and uh, work together at, at, at making everyone in the team a little bit better end of the video appreciate everyone for watching I know it's a long video if you have any questions on war patterns leave a comment in the comment section I'll try to I try to answer everything that everyone sends me like and share the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet remember we have the contest coming up all new subscribers plus all old subscribers Appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy.